So next example, how to calculate the heat evolved or released in a reaction. In this case, we have two reactants. We have um, what we call diborane. It's also called boron hexahydride. And we have some chlorine gas. We put that together, end up with boron chloride and hydrogen chloride, both gases. Now, the energy released in this reaction is 1,396 kilojoules. So it's an exothermic reaction. And we are now limited to only having 65 grams of diborane and 217 grams of the chlorine gas. So which of those two will be limiting the reaction? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to assume that we have an unlimited amount of the other reactant and only 65 grams of diborane. And then we're going to have an unlimited amount of diborane and limited chlorine of 217 grams. And we're going to calculate the amount of energy released both times. Whichever gives us the least amount of energy, that will then give us the limiting reactant or limiting reagent, as we should call it. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We, we're going to use the same equation again to find the energy release. We're going to put in the energy of the reaction. So this is equal, well, we're going to start with, let's see, 65 grams of diborane. So the energy released, E released in the reaction, is equal to the amount of energy here, which is a 1,396 kilojoules. Now, the reason why we make this positive is because we're saying that's the energy released, and so it's indeed that many kilojoules. If we just talk about the enthalpy, then we have to put in the negative sign as well. So we multiply this times one reaction. That's always the same. Now, how many moles of the reactant do we have? And when we come up here, we're dealing with diborane. We only have one mole of the reaction, so one mole of diborane. Okay, now we multiply the times the mass in the sample, so we have 65 grams, 65 grams of diborane, and we divide that by the mass per mole of diborane. Now, the mass of one mole of boron is 10.81 grams. We have that right there. The mass of hydrogen is 1.008 grams per mole. So when we put it together into a molecule like this, it's the total mass per mole is 27.67 grams per mole. So 27.67 grams of diborane per one mole of diborane. Now you notice if we write it like this, and I should put this as so many kilojoules per one reaction, because if we write it like that, then you can see that the units just come out really nicely. Reaction cancels out, moles of boring cancels out, and grams of boring cancels out. All you have left is numbers and the units of kilojoules. Now, of course, we need a calculator for this. So 1396 multiplied times 65 and divided by 27.67 equals. And that will release 3,279 kilojoules. All right, now let's see if we get more energy released or less energy released when we limit ourselves to 217 grams of chlorine gas. So now we're going to do this again with 217 grams of chlorine gas. So energy released is equal to the energy for one reaction, which is 1,396 kilojoules. So this is all the same, one reaction. Now we have to account for the number of moles of our reactant that we're concerned with. So we're dealing with chlorine gas. We come up here, we have six moles of chlorine gas, which means one reaction divided by six moles of chlorine gas. And now we have to count for the mass of one mole. So first we write down the mass in our sample, which is 217 grams of chlorine gas. And we divide that by um, the mass per mole, which right here, since one mole of chlorine has a mass of 35.45 grams. Two chlorines, because it's a diatomic molecule, has a mass of 70.9 grams per mole. So we write 70.9 grams of chlorine gas per one mole of chlorine gas. Of course, again, the reaction cancels out, moles cancels out, grams cancels out, and we're left with 1,396 times 217 divided by 6 and divided by 70.9 equals. 
and this releases 712 kilojoules. Now, clearly, since you have less energy release in the reaction, there must be not enough of the chlorine gas to make more of the diborane react, so therefore this is the answer, and this is the limiting reagent. And that's how you do that problem.